guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm bringing you along with me to Savers and this is a thrift store where I decided to go dolly shopping and I thought I would just bring you guys along so they had music playing in the store so I actually had to extract the audio put in some new music and do a voiceover for this part, but I hope you guys enjoy watching as I hunt for dolls and let's see what we can find. Stick around because I am going to be unbagging some of these dolls when we get home. I actually ended up buying Oh gosh, I don't know. I ended up with nine dolls, but some of them had multiple dolls in each bag. So I think I had like six bags and ended up with like nine dolls. But stick around and you'll see who we decided to get. see any dolls here that you would have grabbed this is like a doll lovers paradise girl is definitely going to be coming home with me and she's one of the dolls that had a bonus extra dolly in her bag and would you look at that I just found another na 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 surprise doll score and she's also got a couple of extra dolls in her bag I kind of regret not getting this girl. I spy Maleficent, so guess what? Yep, she came home with me. thought I would show you guys which dolls I ended up getting so you know I could not resist this girl this is one of those na 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 dolls we will open them in just a minute here but um, she did include another doll so I guess the extras are bonuses but she was 349 with an extra dolly we got maleficent i could not resist getting her 449 for maleficent and i thought that this was a pretty good deal because she's also got her shoes on we got this girl, this is just, I guess this is just a normal Barbie. i um, not sure which one she is. Let me know if you guys know in the comments. But I thought she had a really pretty face. Unique in a way. Um, $249, could not resist her. She just needs a little cleaning. Her hair needs to be shampooed and such actually looks like it was pulled back and we got another na 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 girl be sweet she's so cute and I love her hair color 
She's got her shoes or I guess boots or something on. Like I said, we're gonna open them in a minute, but she also has two other dolls with her. So more bonus dolls here for $4.49. Couldn't resist. And this girl, um, look at her face. We're gonna take a closer look at her once I get her out of the packaging. But I'm assuming this is a Barbie. I am not sure, but her face just looks so unique. I don't know if uh, somebody gave her a face up or if this is the way she came. If anybody knows who this is, let me know. 349. And last but not least, y'all, I found an LOL surprise girl. And I was so happy to see her. Because I've really started taking a liking to these girls. And she's got her boots and everything. So I don't know if she's got everything that she would have come with. But $249 couldn't resist. So if anybody knows who any of these dolls are, let me know. And we're going to go ahead and take them out of their packages and take a closer look. So here's a closer look at the Maleficent doll that I found. She is in pretty good condition. I took her dress off so that I could show the body a little closer. She's got a molded on bodysuit type thing. And she does say Disney on her. And her boots are pretty amazing. The only thing I don't like about these boots is the way that they do them. Um, look at the back side. <laughs> I guess it's easier to put them on because of this, but I really wish they were solid and didn't have splits up the back. But the, the boots are pretty cool. They've got a lot of detail. They would just be nicer if they didn't have the splits up the back. So we're going to go ahead and put her dress back on and take a closer look at that. So here she is in all her glory. And uh, the dress is in pretty good condition. It's got Velcro at the back. The only thing that it needs is this collar piece needs to be sewn back down on the right side. As you can see, it's kind of sticking up a bit. The left side looks okay, but that right rear corner needs to be tacked back down. But otherwise, the outfit is in really good condition, and I'm assuming this is everything she came with. I don't know if you guys have this doll or know anything more about her. Let me know down in the comments. Um, but she is in really good condition, so I was happy to find her. Now let's move on to the next find. So here's the next girl. And I really liked her face. It looks like she's got little freckles. I don't know if somebody did that to her or if she would have come like that, but it does give her some personality. Um, her hair is a hot mess. So yes, it does need some work, <laughs> but nothing a good shampoo probably won't take care of. And this is her body. She's got flat feet. Hands are in good condition. I know a lot of them have uh, chewed up fingers. Her pinky finger on this hand might have a little bit of a chew on it, but <laughs> nothing too bad. The only thing I did notice after taking her out of her package was the spot on her neck. 
and it is on both sides. Let's see if we can do this with one hand. I think I left my tripod out in the RV, but um, yeah, it does look like her neck is chipped a little bit. Not really gonna show once I have her fixed up and posed and on a doll stand, but um, but yeah. If anybody knows which Barbie this is, let me know. I think we'll number them so you guys can tell me down in the comments. Any information about Maleficent will be number one. This girl will be number two. And we'll move on to the next one. All right, this girl is gonna be number three. She's another Mattel Barbie. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I really don't think that this is the face she came with. I think somebody gave her a face up because she just looks so unique. Let me see if I can steady the camera. I think somebody gave her a face up and I really like it. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Has somebody repainted her face? Because I really don't think that this is the face that Mattel gave her. I could be wrong, but um, but yeah. I thought she was too unique to pass up. So this one is number three. Let me know if you guys have any idea of which Barbie this is. Very cute. Once again, slots in the back of the shoes. I don't like it. <laughs> Moving on to the Na 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 Surprise Girl. And she's the reason that I bought the bag that had her in it. Um, it does say Na 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 Surprise. And on the back side, it says Series 4. So let me know which one she is, if you guys have any idea of who she is. Um, looks like she's got a little, maybe a panda hat on. Is she a panda girl? She is barefoot. I don't know if she would have been barefoot. She probably doesn't have everything that she would have come with, but I have always been in love with these little girls since the time I've first time I saw them. Um, I've always thought that these dolls were really adorable. They are cloth face and cloth body. As you can see, she's got seams on her arm and hand, fingers. Little sewn seams on her toes. It almost feels like a stocking material, like nylons. But I've always thought these dolls were super cute and when I saw her, I couldn't resist. So I got her, and in her bag was another doll. So this was the bonus doll that came with her. I wouldn't have chosen her just on her own, but, but yeah, sweet bonus. Little girl to go with my Barbies. Not sure who she is either, but it looks like a small Mattel doll. One of the little Barbie dolls. So this will be bag number four. Let's say this doll is number four. And this doll is number five, if you guys have any information on them. Now we've moved on to the next bag. And so this girl is going to be number six. And she is another Na 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 surprise. Adorable. It says Be Sweet right here. So I don't know if that would have been her name or which one she actually is. Let's see if we can find any information on her tag. No, it doesn't really say who she is. It just talks about the materials. But this is going to be six. Yes, number six, if you guys have any information on her. 
and she actually has printed on socks. I guess, unless those are supposed to be her boots, but I think they're socks. And uh, she came with two other dolls, so let me grab those real quick. We have this one. This girl had a tag on her that said Batat, B-A-T-T-A-T. -T -T. She's got a cloth body, but her limbs are hard plastic. So if anybody knows what doll this is, let me know. Um, her tag also had Lori written on it, L-O-R-I. So she's a Batat Lori. Almost looks like, um, reminds me of a miniature American Girl doll, but I don't know. I don't know, guys. If anybody knows who she is, she is going to be number seven. This is number seven. So here's the first two girls that were in the bag. And there was one more doll included in that bag. And it was this one. And this one actually has Disney printed on the back. Pretty sure it's a little boy. So if anybody knows who this cutie is, let me know. Um, so he's just got printed on underwear. And that's all he had with him. So if anybody knows who this cutie is, he is going to be number eight. So like I said, leave a comment down below and let me know which number doll you are referring to. And let me know who he is. He's very cute. Number eight. Last but definitely not least, we have... The LOL surprise that I found. I actually spotted this girl and grabbed her first. Um, I was so happy to find her because I have really started liking these dolls. You know, when they first came out, I was kind of iffy about them. Wasn't sure what I thought, but they've really grown on me. So anytime I see an LOL surprise, I rescue it. Um... I don't know if this is the outfit she would have come with because these boots are um, slightly different shade of red than the pants, but they do fit her quite well. The pants fit her quite well. Um, I don't know if this is the shirt that she would have come with. It's a little baggy. It might have been another doll's shirt. If you guys have any thoughts or know who she is let me know this will be doll number nine she does have a choker with a padlock on it very cute and i just love these dolls look at her hands look at her fingers their nails are done their hands are so cute she's even got like you can see the lines in her palms. Isn't that cute? But her hair is a little bit messy. Hoping I can fix that. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. But, um, but yeah. And you know, these dolls also <laughs> have slits in their shoes. I guess it just helps put them on better. Helps slip their heels over the back of the shoes. Um, but... These are some pretty awesome heels. Look at that. Very cool. So there she is. LOL surprise doll number nine. Let me know if you guys know which one she is. So I think I did pretty well. Nine dolls rescued from the thrift store. So there we have it. This was my dolly score from the thrift store. We have nine dolls for $21. Grand total of $21 for these beauties. So I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little look one more time. This is number one, number two, number three, whom I really think has a face up. I think somebody painted her face, made her very unique did a very good job and then we've got number four number five she's hiding back in there number six 
number seven. Don't know why my camera keeps looking a little blurry, trying to keep it focused. Number eight. And last but not least, number nine. And, <laughs> and there's Chase. There's my boy. Say hi, Chase. <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what to think about all these dolls. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for coming along on a thrift store dolly hunt. And like I said, if you know who any of these are, just let me know down in the comments. And I will see you guys again in the next video. She says, bye. Bye.